morning. It's your turn. Good morning. So can we start now? Yes, we can start now. Please. Okay, good afternoon from Oman because we already have uh, 12 uh, p.m. now in Oman. And good morning to the experts and CMS CERN. Uh, thank you so much for giving us this opportunity to have this virtual visit to CMS CERN. To all students, teachers, specialists, you are welcome to this special event, um, uh, which aim to engage students in the field of uh, physics and, part and particularly particle physics. Uh, we are happy to have this event today with more than 3,000 students from all over Oman uh, uh, participate today. Uh, uh, to make this uh, special event run smoothly and reach our target, please, I want to give uh, just some instructions to participants. Uh, this event is recorded, so we are assumed that everyone participate in the event uh, aware and have no objection to appear if, if, if his photo appear in the videos or uh, there is no objection for the publishing of this uh, video. Also, if anyone have any question, please, you can type in Q and A icon, use Q and A icon to type your question and it will be answered by the experts during the tour. The language will be mainly English, but in, if there's any uh, um, concept or anything that is not clear for you, uh, we can make clarification because we have uh, Arabic expert there and he can explain all, uh, uh, all things that is not clear for you. So don't hesitate to ask if you have any question, please. Uh, um, also, if any teacher want to speak, please type for us and then we will try to, um, uh, to, make, um, uh, to give you uh, also the opportunity to speak. Uh, thank you again. And for introduction for the expert, I will give this um, thing to Michael, Dr. Michael. Uh, to introduce the expert from CERN. Uh, Dr. Michael, thank you very much for making this, um, uh, uh, this event um, uh, real because we are trying from long time to have this virtual visit and by your efforts and also by the, your coordination with the expert there in CERN, uh, this happens today. Thank you so much and the floor is you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Maya. Uh, thank you to the ministry and uh, to the, your, your staff that you organized it locally in, in Oman. Uh, um, very welcome to, uh, to everybody here, a live feed to CMS at CERN. So you will hear um, uh, your local, our local uh, expert sitting in Mosta in, in Oman is uh, Professor uh, uh, Amir Radi. Uh, he will give you an introduction talk and uh, explain you where we are and what we're doing and why we're doing it. So it's very exciting. Um, here's Mohamed, uh, one of my uh, colleagues uh, working here at CERN in Geneva uh, with me uh, at the CMS experiment. And of course, I have my two colleagues, uh, Soltan and uh, Noemi. These are uh, both our Hungarian uh, uh, colleagues. Um, here from Europe, I'm come, I come from Austria, so uh, you will hear from uh, uh, Professor Amr uh, the, the, what is a collaboration and what uh, big team uh, is working here uh, together to construct this amazing uh, jewel of um, science we will uh, get in, uh, introduced to you. Um, maybe I'll, uh, a um, you, you may want to say uh, yeah, I yourself. can introduce myself. Hello, everyone. I'm Mohammed. I'm from Egypt. Uh, I'm super happy to, to meet you today. Uh, especially Dr. Ham is my, my supervisor. <laughs> um, I would like today to introduce to you uh, what we are doing here at uh, CMS at CERN over Geneva. Uh, I'm so happy to answer any question from you, whatever in uh, English or Arabic, okay, especially in Arabic, because I feel like I wanted to explain what we are doing here in my uh, mother language to just be close with you. And uh, I hope uh, you enjoy it. Oh, thank you, uh, Dr. Amr. Um, yes. uh, could you introduce yourself for a moment, then I, I will say some words before you start. Yeah, okay. My, my name is uh, Dr. Amr Radi. I am from Sultan Qaboos University, 
uh, and uh, I am the team leader of the group uh, of the Sultan Qaboos University since 2016 in CMS experiment, of course. Okay, great. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, one more, one more comment, uh, just to understand uh, what we are uh, providing now. Um, Dr. Professor Amra will, will uh, uh, start with the uh, introduction presentation, and uh, uh, me here with my colleague will walk around and show you live feeds, uh, which um, and amplifies the explanation of the, uh, of, the of, of your professor, and then uh, also going down 100 meters below ground and showing you uh, direct con contacts of uh, this um, amazing science installation. Um, I would like to um, um, uh, encourage you, uh, I'm here to show you. So if whatever, whatever you are interested, and if you want to have a closer look at a detailed question, please don't hesitate to type it in. Uh, my colleague will uh, read it, ask me the downstairs, and then, and then we can uh, show uh, more details and go more in deep depth um, uh, of the uh, having an interesting discussion. Uh, of course, at the at the end of the uh, of the visit, when I'm coming up here, uh, we'll still have a question and answer and, and discussion. So, uh, if if your question is not coming up during my uh, presentation downstairs, we we'll can uh, discuss it also after. But uh, don't hesitate to ask. Also, uh, type it in uh, during during the visit. Okay, uh, Professor Amra. Yeah, just can I um, yes, uh, just speak in Arabic for uh, yes, two please. words? Or sure. uh, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bas arahab bijamia al talaba wal muallimin wal muhtasneen al lindamu ilena. So an muzar al tarbiya wal talim or mujam al sultan qabus or al muhtamin aydan. Tabi an fahadi ziyara al iftiradiya. Inshallah, Dr. Amr rahi qadam presentation fil bidaya ka introduction. والمختصين من سير إن شاء الله بيأخذونا إلى يعني رؤية عملية لهذه الفاسيلتيز اللي موجودة هناك بحيث إنكم توصلكم الخبرة العلمية والعملية في نفس الوقت فإذا عندكم أي سؤال وأي استفسار رجاء أن تستخدموا الآيكون اللي هو Q and A لأي استفسار والمختصين رايحين يقوموا بالإجابة عليها والدكتور محمد في سير موجود محمد إذا كان في عندكم أي صعوبة بالنسبة للغة الإنجليزية هو رايح إن شاء الله يفسرها باللغة العربية فأهلاً وسهلاً بكم جميعاً Thank you, Michael Thanks a lot, Maya Thanks a lot, Maya uh, I can share now my, my screen I can share my screen now Yes, go ahead the, we started to have a question. Shall we answer yeah, but, it? Uh, not or? yet. Let's okay. let, let's wait for for Amr to to make the presentation. Okay. Yes. Okay. <coughs> so it's clear like that. My screen. Yes. 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 Uh, okay. That's great. Just uh, it's of course it's virtual visiting to CERN, especially in one of the main experiments, CMS experiments. So of course, my name is Amr Radi from Sultan Qaboos University. And just we can go to our outlines, our just outlines, just we will speak about uh, CERN, then the Large Hydron Collider, and then the Compact Main Serenoid Experiment. Um, first of all, just we, um, our main objective, our objective, the objective of CERN, of course, to understand natural of matter, to understand natural of matter. This is the, the main objective uh, of CERN. Uh, so first of all, uh, just to get uh, the power of 10. So we here have um, uh, pico, nano, micro, uh, meter, of course, kilo, mega, giga, tera, beta. Just, this is just the power of 10. To imagine if we set something, to imagine how many zeros, how many power of 10 we have. Just this, just to put it in your mind. Then the, the next step about the, um, the matter. If we have just matter, of course, the matter is, is, is I, I think it's, it is just kind of atom, this kind of atom, of course, this nucleus and this is the electron. But the most important any matter is, consists of atoms, 
The atoms, each atom consists of nucleus and electron. Each nucleus is consists of a proton and neutron, and each proton or neutron is consists of three quarks. So this is a matter, okay? And of course, we have uh, four forces, just we need to understand more. The main objective to understand nature of matter. This is the main objective. So to just to reply to this question, the objective to make the large hydro collider, uh, one of the questions, what is mass? Usually Newton's defined uh, Newton's said the mass, the mass multiplied by the acceleration equal to the force. Einstein, he said the energy is equal mass multiplied by uh, the speed of light square, but he, they didn't define the mass. What is mass? So we, we, uh, we tried to reply to this question and we, of course, we discovered the Higgs boson in 2012. This one of the question, we have um, a part of the answer. Another, um, this is the main objective of the Large Hydrogen Collider to, to answer the unsolved question. There is more than unsolved question. We need to answer them. So this is why they build LHC, Large Hydrogen Collider. Uh, one of the question, another question also, what is, we, we know that we know about 4% of our universal, but uh, what's the other materials? Uh, we know that about 96% of the universal made of what we need to discover. Uh, of course, we know that uh, there's a kind of uh, dark matter and um, a dark energy. Another question also about the, um, the, the starting of the Big Bang and uh, uh, the starting of the Big Bang and what happened in the first second of the Big Bang to understand the matter correct. We need to know what exact happened in the first second of the Big Bang. So this many questions, and of course, we have a lot of uh, questions, but we, there is a lot of question. The, the, we need to resolve this question to find answer. So, so, so large, hydro, the large hydron collider, large, it is 20 kilometer uh, circumstances, the length of the, the, uh, the, the, the length of the uh, large hydrogen collider is 27 kilometers. This is why it's called, it's large, it's really large. And uh, this is the, the first word of, uh, of large. Then the second word of collider, collider, let's say we collide the particles. As we said, we have proton, quarks, so we can collide the particles. Of course, we will collide the proton. And uh, this is why it's called Large Hadron Collider. Large, it is 27 kilometer. And collider, we collide the, the particles. And uh, Hadron, the word of Hadron, it, it can be, um, the word of Hadron, it can be, of course, uh, electron or proton or ion. So we collide their electrons. We can collide the electrons, protons, and ions are, of and of course, uh, the antiparticle of this uh, uh, electron or proton or ions. Uh, so this is the Large Hydrogen Collider in Geneva. So uh, this is the Large Hydrogen Collider, this 27 uh, long. And of course, we cannot uh, boost the particle to be there in the Large Hydrogen Collider. So we have five steps. There is five steps. First step, we reach 31 uh, percentage of the speed of light, then 91% of the speed of light, then 99.9% .9 the speed of light, then till we reach at the Large Hydrogen Collider to 99.9999991, the speed of light. Of course, this is very high speed of light and it's energy. So, just this is the large hydrogen collider of course just the history it, it, it they start to, uh, back in 1998 that it is large electron uh, positron collider uh, this it was at that at that time and then in december 1994 they decide to uh, upgrade it to be um, 
to, to collide, of course, at high energy level, uh, these things. Um, as we said, it is about 20, uh, 27 kilometer uh, the length of the collider. The mean depth, of course, the mean depth is about 100 meter. Sometimes it reaches 175 in near the Jura mountain. And then, of course, it can be less than that, less than 100 in uh, toward Lake of Geneva. Uh, this is just information about uh, the, the Large Hadron Collider. Um, for example, the temperature inside the Large Hadron Collider tube, it is 1.9 Kelvin. Let's say it's 271 centigrade, and let's say it is the coldest place in the uh, world. We can say that. And of course, there is number of magnets, dipole magnets. Uh, for example, um, it has bunches. It's has, it, uh, each beam. It has uh, each beam. It has uh, uh, the number of proton per, per bunches, and there is a beam. The beam is including bunches. For example, number of um, of each bunch is about 10 to the power 11 proton. And how many collision per second is about 600 million collision per second. For example, this is just, and it can reach, of course, seven TAV. Seven TAV, uh, this is the energy it can be reached. So it is the coldest uh, place, uh, coldest place in the universal. It is just 1.9 degree absolute so it is just uh, this is why this is it, it, we can say it is the coldest place in our universal and in, at the same time it is the hottest place in our galaxy why the the uh, the beam when it collide to each other the temperature it can raise uh, rise till millions of uh, multiply the sun, the sun, the core of the sun temperature. So the, the core of the sun temperature, by the way, is 15 uh, million centigrade, absolute. But uh, in, in one, the, the collision happened, the point of the collision, the temperature is more than that million times. So, so we can say it is the hottest place in our galaxy. CERN, of course, CERN, there is um, more than thousand, 10,000 of the science do their work at CERN, of course, and it is about 20, more than 20 uh, European member states now, and more than 60 additional countries. Um, Large Hadron Collider, it has main four experiments, ALICE and ATLAS and CMS and LHCB. And there's another two experiments, LHCF and uh, TOTO. Uh, the main, main two big experiments is ATLAS and CMS. Uh, just this, just a look that the, the, the main four experiments, they are just down 100, like CMS here, and uh, ATLAS opposite, and uh, ALICE and LHCB. So just this is uh, um, the four experiment um, on the um, a large hydro collider. For this is just the circumstances of the large hydro collider. This is a circle of it. So first of all, we can say this is uh, yes. So this is uh, Atlas, this is CMS, and this is L uh, Alice, and this is uh, LHCB. Professor Amra, yes? uh, may I ask you, uh, Sultan, may quickly change to our view. Because then yeah. we can uh, show you. As long because, as yes, Professor it, Amra uh, is uh, sharing, I cannot put you in. But if yeah. Amra uh, uh, yeah. removes the share, yes. I can. I can immediately. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because oh, I, I would like to show. Uh, you have seen on the map where we are, and now uh, yeah. uh, we just get out of the building, and then you see how it looks like um, yeah, here yeah, yeah. Yeah. at at, uh, at CMS. So in CMS, as you as you could see, we're in in this yeah. in this in the middle of the landscape of the superb area of, of Geneva. You have seen the lake and you have seen the Mont Blanc behind the very, uh, high tall mountain where you have always snow. And here at the at CMS, we're exactly at the opposite of the ring of the 27 kilometer circumference of LHC. Atlas is one on one side and CMS is on the other side. And here you see, uh, well, usually, well, first of all, uh, uh, the, the, the color of the sky 
<laughs> this is the, the uh, desert okay. dust right now. Um, usually you see here on, on this side, the Euro mountain uh, with uh, also snow right now at the, the top. So if you come in the winter, don't forget uh, to bring your snowboard or your ski because it's very close to the ski station to, uh, to have also after work some fun or during the weekend. Um, and it, it, this side, on this side, you see the, the big assembly hall uh, of CMS where we assemble these huge pieces of disks of CMS. So while uh, Professor Amar will continue uh, talking about uh, more on CMS, we will walk over, over there because there are real uh, LHC dipoles uh, where, which are superconductive. And we'll uh, give you a, a close view on this before we can go downstairs. Okay, Professor Amor, please can, continue. Yes. Yes, please. Can just explain this in brief in Arabic? Uh, yes, because please. We, yeah, please. Okay. Yes. Um, yeah. The mabna that we saw in the first place is the mabna that is called CMS. لو احنا كده فكرنا على السي ام اس او اي تجربه تمام كتجربه كبيره جدا اسهل حاجه ان انت ممكن تصممها تحت الارض وتبني تفضل تبني فيها تحت الارض بس كان الاختيار وقع ان بدل ما نصممها تحت الارض نصمم السي ام اس كلها فوق الارض في الجراج اللي احنا شايفينه ده او في المبنى اللي احنا شايفينه ده ونبتدي نعملها زي سلايدات سلايس سلايس وناخد كل سلايس منهم ننزلها تحت الارض لو مقارنة لو احنا شفنا الاكسبيرمنت هنا واكسبيرمنت اطلس هنلاقي ان المبنى بتاعهم صغير ليه؟ علشان هم صمموا التجربه بتاعتهم كلها تحت الارض بس سي ام اس هي مختلفه لان احنا صممناها فوق الارض عشان كده المبنى بتاعها كبير جدا لما مايكل هيبتدي يخش جوه هتشوف قد ايه الحجم من جوه كان كبير علشان يستوعب التجربه كلها بالسلايسات بتاعتها سلايس باي سلايس تمام تمام اوكي so you, you can continue, Michael? Yes, yes. Uh, so the, the, once more, this is the, this huge building. So inside, you can imagine somehow the, you, the enormous size of our detector we uh, will show you downstairs. So because this just fits in here. Now, now here, uh, I come, uh, I'll show you over the, the accelerator tube. As Professor Amra explained, 27 kilometers in circumference and it's the coldest place in the universe because why? Because the magnet who deviates the particles somehow are superconductive. Superconductivity means a current flow without resistance. So the Ohm's law doesn't apply to this special material. Then uh, like this, you can have a very strong uh, current and, we, and with that current, you can create a, well, you can create a very strong magnetic field. And this is what is happening inside um, the, uh, these tubes. And so the, the blue tube over there is how it looks like in the tunnel. And there's this, uh, and, in, and the silver tube here is uh, the cold mass. And this is filled with superfluid helium. So um, the helium is a gas. Uh, and this is in, in, in a fluid state, so very, very uh, cold. And this cools uh, the magnet coils. And in, if, you, if you look here, these are the supply chains. And these two tubes are uh, the protons, where the protons go in this direction, and the protons go in that direction. And this makes the beam turn, turn in a circle in 27 kilometer circumference. And of course, where CMS is in the center, they are, they go, these two beams go in one, one uh, vacuum tube. They, uh, they cross in the center of the experiment of the camera, if you like, and there they collide. Maybe uh, you can, uh, Mohamed, maybe you can explain for a short moment uh, about the superconductivity because it's a very um, important point why we need uh, to have such a cold temperature inside our magnet. Okay, uh, okay. I will first a bit uh, explain what you said in Arabic. In Arabic. Yes. Yeah. So, the 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 the
اي ما كان بيشرح دكتور عمرو ان احنا عندنا انبوبه بمحيط 27 كيلو متر تحت الارض ده جزء منها ده زي سامبل منها علشان نشوف اللي موجود تحت الارض عامل ازاي تمام في اجزاء اساسيه جوه التيوب ده جزء الماجنت تمام وجزء التو تيوب اللي بيمشي فيها البروتون البروتون واحد بيمشي كده واحد بيمشي كده ويبتدي ان هم يتقابلوا في نقطه معينه النقطه دي يبتدوا ان هم يضربوا في بعض يتصادموا في بعض تمام النقطه دي فين النقطه دي عند الاكسبيرمنت عند كل اكسبيرمنت عندنا كام اكسبيرمنت عندنا اربعه اكسبيرمنت تمام فحوالين البروتونز هيكون عندنا الماجنت الماجنت ده تمام ليه بنستخدم الماجنت علشان نقدر ان احنا نخلي البروتون يمشي في سيركل تمام لو احنا من غير ماجنت البروتون هيمشي ستريت لاين لا احنا عايزين نخليه يمشي في سيركل فلما يبتدي ان احنا نطبق عليه ماجنتيك فيلد عالي جدا 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 يمكن اعلى ماجنتيك فيلد موجود على مستوى الارض 8 8 تسلا اعلى من 8 تسلا تمام طب عشان نوصل للماجنتيك فيلد ده بنستخدم الهيليوم المسال الهيليوم اللي هو عن درجه حراره قليله جدا ممكن توصل لدرجه 1.9 كيلفن زي ما كان بيقول مايكل او دكتور عمر ان احنا ابرد حته في, في على مستوى الارض اللي هو 1.9 كيلفن علشان بس ان احنا نوصل ان الماجنت بتاعنا يكون اعلى حاجه طب ليه عايزين نوصل لدرجه الحراره دي علشان السوبر كوندكتيفيتي تتحقق ايه هي السوبر كوندكتيفيتي السوبر كوندكتيفيتي ان احنا يكون الكارنت ماشي في السلك اوتوماتيك بيكون في ريزيستنس بس احنا لو وصلنا لدرجه حراره قليله جدا 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 احنا بنلغي الريزيستنس خالص فالكارنت بيمشي في الماتيريال في حاله السوبر كوندكتيفيتي عند الفيري فيري لو تمبرتشر من غير اي ريزيستنس خالص فبالتالي لما الكارنت يمشي من غير اي ريزيستنس جوه سلك هيبتدي ان انا كل ما هزود الكارنت هيبتدي ان انا اطلع ماجنت عالي جدا الماجنتيك فيلد القوه بتاعته عاليه جدا 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 وبالتالي اقدر اتحكم في البيم بنفسه ان هو يمشي في ايه؟ في سيركل تمام؟ انا عندي جوه التيوب دي عندي زي تو تيوب في بعض واحد كده وواحد كده بحيث ان هو يخلي البروتونز واحد يمشي كده وواحد يمشي عكسه علشان يحصل لي كوليجن او يحصل كوليد عند بوينت معين تمام؟ مهمات مهمات كويك اتس يور تيرن نو نو اتس يور تيرن نو اي فينيش كويك وي ويل كويك نويمي ويل لوك انتو ذا بروتون تيوب And I will make light at the other side of the uh, 16 meter cold mass uh, magnet. That yes. you see how what the uh, a proton would would see in the tunnel. هو دلوقتي حي حيرسل زي شعاع من ال من الضوء خلال الأنبوبة ونقدر نشوف البروتون اللي بيشوفه جوا التانل زي ما إحنا شايفين دا تيوب من التيوبس اللي بيمشي فيها البروتون والتيوب اللي جنبها هي اللي بيمشي فيها عكس آه، الاتجاه هو دلوقتي هنبتدي ان احنا نخش جوه الاكسبيرمنت ونبتدي ان احنا ننزل تحت الارض على مسافه 100 متر تحت الارض مسافه okay. 100 متر يعني حوالي 30 دور ولا حاجه او مره 30 دور اوكي ليتس يا اتس يور تيرن يس ناو ناو اي اي ويل جو ثرو ذا اكسبيرمنتال هول وير وي اسامبلد ذا سي ام اس اكسبيرمنت There we yeah. have to patch it's a uh, restricted access. Yeah, yeah. Michael, uh, yes. Amr didn't finish his talk. Yes, we, uh, yeah. uh, so. he, he, uh, give me one second because he will co continue while we go down in, in okay. two minutes. Okay. So, uh, so here we are now in this uh, assembly hall. Uh, Amr will explain you that we somehow assembled big disks, so element these big disks here on this hall. Uh, this was empty. Now there are workshops and, and labs here installed. But uh, when we, inst uh, we uh, constructed CMS, it was empty. And these wheels, 20 meters in diameter, 20 meters high, just fit in here. And I show you one, which is which we still have here, which is our spare. <laughs> well, no, <laughs> this is a real size photo of, uh, of our experiment. And there you see that it really fits uh, just in this, in this size, in the, in the hole here. Uh, Amra will explain you in, in a second uh, what, it, uh, how, uh, what is the shape of this and what it, how it works, and we will go down. Unfortunately, you will not see downstairs with this image because this is when it's opened. 
Now we are closed because uh, next week we will start uh, prepare for the physics run. So we have to, uh, everything is uh, going, we switch on everything, all details, but you will see uh, the, uh, how uh, the experiment looks like uh, for a physics run. And there, before I leave, uh, give you pass it over to, to Amre again. Uh, there's another interesting uh, object because we have, we talked about the dipoles deviating uh, the, uh, the magnet, uh, the, the, uh, the, the hadrons, so the protons to go run around the circle here within LHC, but also you need accelerating part. So you have magnet, magnetic field to deviate, to keep them on track and electric field to push them, to accelerate them. And this object here is an old uh, 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 um, cavity. So the element for accelerating the, 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 proto uh, the, uh, the, the particles from the previous uh, accelerator, the LEP, the Large Electron Positron Collider. Um, Amr explained you before uh, who was constructed in the 80s and running in the 80s. And this is, but this is, uh, we also, I will also show, uh, put light inside and uh, you will uh, have a look how the structure inside looks like. Uh, well, this, this, maybe this side, this side is better. So, Mohamed, maybe you can explain shortly. Yeah. Uh, اللي احنا شايفينه دلوقتي ده جزء من uh, التيوب القديمة خالص يعني ال LHC آه كان موجود بس كان موجود في أيام الثمانينات uh, تجربة تانية أو معجل تاني أو large, large circle or large electron positron collider اللي هو كان عندنا تيوب تانية لتجربة اسمها اللب بس كنا بنستخدم فيها بدل البروتونز كنا بنستخدم فيها الكترون وبوزيتيف اللي احنا شايفينه دلوقتي جزء من التيوب اللي كان موجود ايام الثمانينات اللي كان بيطلع لنا الكتريك فيلد تمام علشان نبتدي ان احنا نسرع البارتكل نفسه الفكره بمنتهى البساطه ان احنا بيكون عندنا زي شعاع او بيكون عندنا جسيمات الجسيمات دي مشحونه سواء الكترون او بوزيتيف او بروتون فاحنا عايزين نمشيها في سيركل وفي نفس الوقت عايزين نمشيها بسرعه. علشان نمشيها نمشيها في سيركل بنطبق الماجنتيك فيلد عليها بحيث ان هي تمشي في سيركل. علشان نمشيها بسرعه بنطبق الالكتريك فيلد عليها علشان تمشي ان هي ايه تمشي بسرعه بسرعه بسرعه. فالجزء اللي احنا كنا شايفينه من شويه هو ده جزء الالكتريك فيلد اللي كان بيتطبق زمان في تجربه اسمها اللب تمام؟ دلوقتي احنا عندنا حاجه طبعا احدث تمام احدث من النظام ده بس دي حاجه زي من الاثريات. أنا بس حابب إن أنا كنت أعلق على حاجة لو شفتوا البوستر بتاع سي ام اس اللي كان جوه الجراج البوستر ده ده ريل سايز بتاع سي ام اس يعني سي ام اس نفسها ده ده الحجم بتاعها الطبيعي الصورة دي بالحجم الطبيعي علشان بس تتخيلوا شكل السي ام اس أو شكل التجربة تحت الأرض هيكون عامل إزاي للأسف مش هتقدر تشوف السلايدز دي تحت الأرض علشان الإكسبيرمنت اتقفلت علشان هنبتدي إن شاء الله من الأسبوع اللي جاي يكون عندنا آه بيم او تيست بيم ابتدي الفيزيكس روم اوكي ميكي اوكي ثانك يو ثانك يو ميبي ناو وي جو وي ويل جو وي وينت اوت ذا باك سايد ويل جو داون ستيرز بروفيسور امر بليز كونتينيو ميبي وي ويل لوز ان ذا ان ذا شافت جوينج 100 متر بيلو جراوند ويل لوز كونكشن اند ويل ويل بي اون بي باك اون لاين وين وي ار ان ذا سيرفيس كافرن اوكي ذاتس جود ان انميوت I will start sharing now again. Yes, Amr, you can you can uh, share. Share. I will share now. Yes, okay. Okay. Yes, perfect. Thank you. Yes. Uh, just we stop here. That about uh, the four experiments. Then we can go to the CMS experiment. CMS experiment is about twenty-one meter long. The height is fifteen meter. Uh, long. Uh, the weight of this experiment is one of the heaviest weight is about 12,500 ton. And uh, of course, this just down, of course, as we said, 100 meter um, depth. Uh, then this just uh, about how many uh, um, signal, million of signals per second, of course, we, uh, we detect here. 
So CMS, it can make million of seconds record signal from six million proton collision, as we said before. So this one point. The, the second point, 75 million pixel slide camera, if you have a camera, but with 75 million pixel and three dimension camera taking about 40 million photo per second. This is like, this is a CMS. Of course, this is a, one of the core of the CMS we've seen now. So it's like that. So just imagine what's this detector uh, do. So that just here the picture as Michael said, and also as Muhammad said, this is just one of the part. CMS, they, they do it part up uh, uh, in the surface and they make more than one part and then they release one part until they make all of the CMS downstairs. So all of the part has been assembled up, then they go down. So this is just the yellow that we uh, saw from the actual picture. Um, we can, for example, this is one, one this, this is from the surface, when they just make the main uh, part of the detector to go down. And this one, it reach, uh, this is from the surface, still in the surface and it's going down. So just, we'll make, uh, by the way, just, I will make some pictures and we'll find how they, uh, they, they try to go it from up to down. Till it reach down here. So that just this is the picture. We start here. It's going down, down, till it go 100 meter depth, till it reach down. This is the, the all of the part of the CMS has been assembled up in the surface, then go down. Imagine the height of this detector is 15 meter. 15 meter. Of course, the diameter, I can set the diameter, of course, the height and the diameter is 15 meter and 21 meter long. This is just a person, for example, with the detector. Here also, we'll make another part. This is just when they try to connect the parts to each other, and this is a pipe. This is a pipe where the collision happened. That the two beams going to opposite to each other and they collide at that point and start um, um, the collide making a lot of particles, all of the different detectors, they record all of this each 20, 25 nanosecond. Each collision happened in 25 nanosecond. So we have a, a record each 25 nanosecond. This, this is when the people, they are just welding the pipe. This is just example of the detector and the people they try to weld and uh, uh, do the pipe. This is the pipe and just after that they close it to be one, one piece as we, we will see one where they will go downstairs. So this is just uh, uh, information about the CMS detector. Um, just of course, this is just information about the institutes participate in the detector CMS. And of course, Sultan Qaboos University participate in, uh, as uh, tem, um, uh, um, uh, participate in this activity. And we, it's since 2016, and we published about 65 uh, paper, scientific paper. And we have more than six, um, more than 8,000 uh, um, citation for, from our papers. And we have four master people degree, they finished their degree and PhD also. So this is just uh, uh, some information about that. Uh, okay. So I can, I think I can uh, end now. Thanks a lot. Yes. Thank you, Professor Amr. Um, so now I'm downstairs, we went downstairs to below ground to the height altitude of the accelerator. So at the beam pipe. Of course, the, and we are, there are two caverns. One is the electronic cavern, and the other side is the experimental cavern, where we then go immediately after. But here we are in the electronic cavern. The, the electronic cavern is 
uh, where all this electronic is sitting. And why do we need two uh, caverns? It's pretty easy because in the experimental cavern, you cannot access during beam. So when we have collisions in the LHC, you, you cannot enter in there because why? Because there's high radiation environment. So it not, would be not very healthy to go in there while it'll beam. Um, and secondly, there's very strong magnetic field. And the magnetic field uh, interferes with the electronic. So this is super high um, uh, precision electronic and we, we do not want uh, any interference. I sh uh, nevertheless, even here, there we have the effect of the strong magnetic field, and here the uh, paper clips, and you see the paper clips distorting through the uh, stray field. So even even here we have uh, still the stray field of the magnet, but it's much much smaller. It's uh, it's about uh, twenty times smaller than inside in the outside of the stray field. Um, having, we have also electronic on the experiment, but this electronic has to be certified to work. So this is much more expensive and has to certify to, uh, to cope with their radiation. So, um, and, uh, so this is uh, uh, money. And then of course, um, operation. So because here you see all these electronic readouts, electronic, where the where the uh, where uh, the signals come in, this very fast electronic. Um, you have high, uh, glass fiber uh, cables for the signal, and then you have. I will show you also some uh, power low low voltage cable and uh, power cables. And so there are copper cables, um, and uh, this we have. If any of these pro computers break, we can come here down without stopping the LHC, without stopping uh, CMS. We can take out. The modules put them in back in and run without uh, <clears throat> uh, disturbing the physics run of CMS and without disturbing the physics run of all the other experiments. Because if you, you have to enter the CMS cavern, you have to stop also uh, Alice, L uh, Atlas, and LHCP because they are in the same accelerator. So let's let's uh, follow me here. I'll walk you over. And, and here, so we, we have, I showed you before uh, the, the Rex with the fast electronic taking the 600 million pictures per second. Um, my Professor Amo explained you, and these here are the, are the Mickey, power take supplies. care that is high voltage in these Rex. Yes, absolutely. So we don't, we, we must not touch and or uh, in any of these cables. So this is, uh, as you can see, high voltage tension. And this is uh, our detector is uh, powered right now. So, um, and these are the power supplies of the muon system. The muon system are the outer uh, layer of the of the of the uh, sensors. Uh, you have seen in the the red with the iron and the silver boxes are these huge uh, uh, detectors to 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 uh, measure uh, the muons. And the, this this is here to power them. So. Please follow me. We go now. We close. Uh, hi, Micha. Can I just like uh, explain yes, a bit please. in a brief way in Arabic? Yes. So please. what we already see. So the idea, guys, is that we are here. We have an experience under the earth, right? In a place we call it cavern. The cavern is like a place under the earth, like that. But after we do one place, we do two places. يعني مكان ياخد سي ام اس ومكان تاني زيه بالظبط. طب ليه خدنا عملنا مكانين لسبب بسيط. مكان حطينا فيه السي ام اس التجربه بتاعتنا وكل حاجه تمام والكل الكترونكس كلها موجوده هناك وبتاع ومتوصلين. بس الفكره ان احنا فكرنا لو احنا حبينا نغير حاجه في الالكترونكس هل كل مره هنخش عند التجربه نفسها ونفتحها ونبتدي احنا نغير اللي احنا عايزينه ولا الاسهل ان احنا نعمل مكان تاني اكبر او مكان زيه كبير 
جنب منه نحط فيه كل الالكترونكس بحيث ان احنا لو حبينا نغير اي حاجه في الهاي فولتج في اللو فولتج ان نغير اي حاجه تبع السلوك وكده نقدر ان احنا نغيرها على طول في الكافرن الاولاني الثاني ده من غير ما نخش جوه الاكسبيرمنت طب ليه كده اولا عشان نحمي نفسينا ان احنا ما يكونش فيه راديشن ما ما نتاثرش بالبيم ثاني حاجه ان احنا لو فتحنا الاكسبيرمنت معنى كده ان احنا هنأثر على التجارب الثانيه علشان لازم نوقف البيم فمعنى كده ان احنا لازم نوقف اليس ولازم نوقف اطلس ولازم نوقف اتش بي في بقى الاحسن حاجه ان احنا نخلي الاكسبيرمنت مقفول عليها في مكان لوحدها والالكترونكس كلها موجوده في مكان ثاني في اي وقت احنا نحب ان احنا نغير فيه نروح نازلين الكافرن ده مغيرين الالكترونكس عاملين مينتيننس عاملين اي حاجه وبعد كده نرجع ثاني اللي احنا شايفينه دلوقتي ده ده شكل الالكترونكس وهي جايه من الكافرن الاولاني اللي هي في الاكسبيرمنت للكافرن الثاني شايفين الالكترونكس ازاي الهاي فولتج اللو فولتج المنظر تحت يعني مش عارف لو لو حد اتلخبط في سلك ولا حاجه ممكن <تصفيق> ياخد وقت قد ايه علشان يعرف انه سلك اللي غيره يعني بس زي ما انتم شايفين حجم الاسلاك قد ايه وحجم الالكترونكس اللي موجوده قد ايه <تصفيق> Okay, Mickey, you 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 can. Uh, yes, uh, just just a quick because now I'm below these racks. Uh, Mohammed just explain you uh, because the racks you have to imagine on top and the below the cables go out and then are connected to a, to a, to the experiment to the sensors where the signal comes from and we are now below so there are big cable channels to go down and down below the experiment and cables. Right, reach up to uh, the sensors in the experiment. So that means between the sensor taking the data and the electronic, and the electronic processing the data, we have in mean 120 meters of cable length. So I, I'll crawl out here, here this cable channel and get you to the entrance to the uh, experimental cavern. Mohamed, maybe you can comment yeah. on this 120 meter where we are right now. Oops. Yeah, Dr. Amr uh, wanted you to say something. Um, just yeah, just uh, the, the, about the the wires. Yes, as I said, um, the, the, to make the wires in CMS, we need a big team for six months working to finish the the wiring of the CMS. This example, as you said, yes. Okay. Okay. اللي احنا شايفينه دلوقتي يا جماعه ده صوره حقيقيه لشكل ال اتش سي او شكل التيوب اللي جوه اللي بيوصل للسي ام اس. فتخيل انا متصور صوري قبل كده لو خيل لو اي حد شاف الصوره دي اكنها 3 دي اكنك جوه فعلا التانل نفسها تمام؟ فميكي So this, this you, you explained that this is just a picture, but the life-size picture. Yes. Because LHG, LHG is just right, right behind this wall and supplying uh, the, uh, the, the beam into the experimental cover. So now yes. I go, you can, exp, you can explain why I'm doing it. Okay? Yeah. So that, what I'm doing. The idea is to go to the experimental cover, we have to be a محكم جدا 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 فاول حاجه لازم يكون معاك الدوزوميتر الدوزوميتر ده جهاز بيقيس الكميه الراديشن او الدوز اللي جوه تمام تاني حاجه الدوزوميتر ده بتعمله باتش او بتمشيه على جهاز تمام بيقراه فبيطلع مفتاح المفتاح ده بندخله هنا في المكان اللي نعومي المكان هيقرا هيقرا العين اه وبعد كده بيخش جوه يقرا العين يقرا بصمه العين يتاكد ان الشخص اللي عمل باتش او مشى الدوزوميتر ده هو هو الشخص اللي جوه الاوضه دي دلوقتي او الكابتن دي دلوقتي اه بص نعومي عملت الدوزوميتر حطيته على الجهاز طلع لها مفتاح تمام المفتاح هتدخله دلوقتي في المكان ده في الطبقه دي بعد كده طلعته هو كده عرف اه الانسان ده هي كذا بس عايز يتعرف عليه هي فهتحتاج ان هي تخش جوه تحط عينيها في الجهاز الصغير ده بحيث يقرا بصمه العين يقرا الشخص نفسه تمام وبعد كده اول ما يتعرف عليها يقول لها تمام انت تقدري تخشي جوه فاحنا دلوقتي داخلين جوه الكافرن اللي مصمم فيه او اللي اللي موجود فيه السي ام اس
دكتور عمرو برضو يعني هو ادم مني هنا هو اتعلمت على ايده فلو حضرتك تحب ت... You are going go correct انت ماشي كده كويس قوي الحمد لله شكرا ليك بس فاحنا دلوقتي هنخش على الاكسبيرمنتال كافن تمام آه المفترض ان الماجنت جوه شغال الماجنت جوه يوصل ل 3.8 تسلا بنستخدم حوالي 18000 امبير علشان نوصل لل للماجنتيك فيلد ده آه بنستخدم حوالي 4000 لتر من الهيليوم درجة الحرارة بتاعت الهيليوم ممكن توصل لدرجة حرارة 3 أو 4 كلفن أو 3.8 كلفن مش هنشيل أي حاجة فاحنا دلوقتي هنخش على الكافرن وعندي سؤال ليكو مش هنقول إجابته دلوقتي بس لو حد يعرف إجابته ممكن يبقى يقولها ليه إحنا محتاجين ماجنتيك فيلد جوه السي ام اس دي حاجه تفكروا فيها كده قبل ما نتفرج على بقيه السيرفيس. بليز ميكي جو اهيد. اي كان نوت هير يو. ليديز اند جنتلمان اي بريزنت يو ذا برنسس اوف ساينس ذا سي ام اس اكسبيرمنت. سو Voila. So now we are downstairs uh, inside the experimental cavern. Let me go. And as you can see, we are here. What do you, what do you see behind me is the LHC comes out of this behind this orange absorbers. There's the, uh, the beam pipe, and it enters directly in the experiment here. Um, and all what you see here, this red big iron wall, this is CMS. And if you look, if you look uh, in the cavern, I mean, now it's closed. You, you, don't, you don't see it. Uh, Uh, well, if you if you if you if you look it up here, there this is the the shaft, the shaft where uh, the the all the uh, all the elements came down, were lowered from the from the uh, hole, the big hole I showed you I showed you before, uh, were were lowered through this big shaft, going down here and then pushed in the car in the cavern. So, and what you see is the, the red iron and the green structure, and then you have the yellow risers and the orange absorbers and the blue crates. So this is uh, somehow the a color code. The very first people who designed CMS gave, and the color code also uh, somehow symbolizes the functionality of what is behind. And then makes the whole experiment look very aesthetic because you have this circular shape with the different colors. In the picture upstairs um, uh, you have seen there is like, like a mandala or uh, a big rose window uh, in circular shape. And so it's a, it has a very artistic uh, also element on the appearance of this high precision science instrument. Because one thing is clear. This instrument, which is 20 meters from the green part to the other green part, and more than 20 meters high with the, with the electronics sitting on, on top of it with the services, um, and is 25 meters long. And everybody of you understands what one uh, degree of Celsius change means in extant, expansion or shrinking of material. And we measure here elementary particles in micrometer scale. So the end, you have to imagine, we make 40 million pictures per second, and we, 
we see 600 million collisions. It's, uh, it's completely crazy uh, from uh, this aspect. So it's a very high resolution camera taking picture of these collisions. And, um, and what, you, what, you see, uh, what you see here, so we have different elements. Uh, let, let's have a look to this picture that you can understand how the internal uh, structure looks like. So what you, what you see, these, these are these orange absorbers where the uh, beam pipe enters in the center of the experiment. And then in the very center, you have the super high resolution pixel camera. So there are pixel detectors, like in the, uh, any uh, similar, similar shape, like in the, in the, in the, pic, in the pixel of a uh, digital camera. And then further out, you have silicon strip detectors. They are higher resolution pictures, making pictures like downstairs, uh, down there here, you see some event displays. And you see, these are already sorted out uh, event displays. You see, these are the, the pictures this camera takes. And then you, have, but uh, the 600 uh, images, the 600 uh, collisions per second, look at the very center like this. So you have, 40 million pictures like this. So you have overlapping uh, collisions because you, you uh, if the protons in the, in, the, in the accelerator ring, you have protons, uh, bunches of protons, you have 100 billion protons and 100 billion protons. Oops. Uh, um, you have uh, groups of protons. So 100 billion and 100 billion, they circulate and then at the center of the experiment, the center of CMS, they go through each other. Uh, sorry, between... Michael, to interrupt you. Uh, yes. So the experience blurred images, this is due to the magnetic field. Okay. Uh, so this is, I would say it is normal now. Normally, of course, these cameras work well. <laughs> yes. Sorry no, about I mean, we... that. We already thanks, tried thanks outside. For... Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, we got thanks a... for mentioning, uh, because we, yeah. um, yes, this is, of course, as uh, this is the effect I, I mentioned before in the electronic cavern that, that this strong magnetic field you can see here. <coughs> and you see, magnetic field this is a very heavy. Oh, I like it then. The target in the mafakida تخيل ان انت لو علشان الماجنتيك فيلد هو طاير في الهواء هو حرفيا طاير في الهواء تمام الماجنتيك فيلد قوي جدا 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 تمام بس طبعا ده ملوش تاثير على الجسم بتاعنا ليتس جو داون تلاقوش احنا اكيد هنحافظ على ميكي ام تيلنج ده مؤثر على عدم وضوح الصوره بالظبط 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 هو الماجنتيك فيلد هو اللي مؤثر على الصوره في بعض الاحيان بتكون غير واضحه بالظبط 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 هو ده اللي اللي كان لسه زلطن بيقولوا ان هو معلش الصوره مش واضحه بس هي كانت واضحه بره بس المشكله عشان الماجنتيك فيلد اللي موجود فالصوره زي ما انتم شايفين مش مش واضحه لو بس سريعا اقول لكم احنا شايفين ايه بالظبط احنا شايفين دلوقتي السي ام اس المكان اللي فوق اللي هو فوقيه بالظبط دلوقتي ده المكان اللي نزلت منه السي ام اس تمام سلايد باي سلايد اسمه الشافت بنسميه الشافت بس هو مقفول دلوقتي علشان بيبتدي ان احنا نجهز التجربه ان يحصل كوليجن تمام التيوب البرتقاني اللي انتم شايفينه ده هو جزء من ال اتش سي نفسه تمام هو ده اللي بيمشي فيه البروتونز ويبتدي في السنتر بتاع السي ام اس ان هم يتقابلوا ويضربوا في بعض اوكي السي ام اس مبنيا ان هي عباره عن سلايدز تمام مرصوصه جنب بعضها تمام وبنبتدي ان احنا نفتحها او نقفلها على حسب الاحتياج دلوقتي احنا بنقفلها علشان نبتدي ان احنا نستعد ان احنا ناخد كوليجن. الدايمنشنز اللي احنا شايفينه زي ما كان دكتور عمرو قال وزي ميكي كان بيقول ان هو احنا عندنا 15 متر طول 15 متر اللي هو القطر نفسه و25 او 29 متر العرض فيعني تخيل الحجم قد ايه. كتله السي ام اس دي حوالي 14000 طن قد كتله برج ايفل مرتين. تخيل انت احنا عندنا برج ايفل مرتين جوه آه الماجنتيك فيلد اللي جوه زي ما قلت ان هو حوالي 3.8 آه تسلا 
شوفوا الحجم قد ايه بالنسبه لميكي يعني ميكي قد هو حجم السي ام اس قد ايه تمام بس فاحنا التجربه من جوه مكونه من كذا بارت تمام حاجه اسمها بيكسل حاجه اسمها الكيلومتر او التراكر او الكيلومتر او بعد كده الماجنت بعد كده الميون سيستم ممكن نبقى نشرح كل واحده فيهم ايه ايه لازمتها بس ممكن بعد ما ميكي خلاص ميكي Uh, I please. I will now show you because as I um, the CMS experiment is called CMS, compact muon solenoid, compact because it's a very compact design. It's small. Muon, you see, <laughs> muon are one of the particles which are important for the physics we do, and solenoid is a shape of our uh, magnet. It's a solenoid. It's a, like a tube. Uh, the magnet, and now. Uh, of course, it's very compact design. Meaning, if we want to, if we want to um, uh, access our uh, central detectors, we have to open it up. But of course, when you open it up, so we sh we pull these big 11 discs apart. Um, we do not disconnect. So what you see here are the cable shafts below that. They roll, and they then stay connected without uh, this uh, without disconnecting uh, the sensors. And here you see this flexible cable shafts of this detector uh, up here. And then, and how do we open it? It's also very interesting because. Uh, this one of these discs have between uh, 800 tons up to uh, 1,600 tons. So this is very, very uh, heavy. That means how do you move such heavy and super, super delicate objects? You cannot shake them, otherwise you break them. And uh, how we do it? Uh, we do, we use hovercraft. So we have air pads. With high pressured air, these are the orange feeds. So we put high pressured air, the air lifts it up a few millimeters, and then we can pull. So we have cables attached, and we pull with a hydraulic uh, pump. Very careful. So as soon as it's uh, pushed up, we pull slowly. Because another thing is, it's not just heavy and delicate, it's also very dense in sensors. So in the center, the beam pipe of the LHC always stays in place. And is one a separate object. This is not connected. The beam, the pipe goes through the experiment. So there is no physical contact be so, uh, between the experiment and the LHC pipe. So that means the, the disks are, has to be very slowly pulled over along the beam pipe to open it up without touching it. Otherwise you break because um, uh, Mohamed will explain you why it's, this tube is so delicate because we have a super, super high vacuum. There must be nothing, nothing, nothing in the LHC beam pipe. Otherwise, the, uh, the protons circulating in the beam would collide along the path in this 27 kilometers. But we want them to collide with the other protons in the center of the experiment. So maybe, Mohamed, you can explain for a short moment uh, about the vacuum, and we will and have, look, at, look at our picture. We will walk below the experiment and walk up at the other side to the floor to look down to the experiment. Mohamed, I don't, I do, do you hear something? No. Can you hear me now? Yes. 
Ah, okay. Now it's better. Sorry. <laughs> Now it's better. Yeah. I was mute. Sorry. The idea that he was explaining at the moment is how we move the CMS. طب حاجة بالكتلة دي كلها طب ازاي هتحركها هل هتجيب هل هتجيب ناس تقعد تزق بقى وتزق من هنا وتزق من هنا وتشد وكده وبتاع لا طبعا احنا بنستخدم هنا البريشر اير ازاي نومي كان يو جست كم تو ذا اورنج ليك جست وان سكند تو ذا اورنج ليك اي الاورنج ليك ده ده عباره عن هاي بريشر جاز بنبتدي ان احنا بنطبق بريشر عالي قوي في الارض بنبتدي ان هو يرفع الاكسبيرمنت سنه صغيره اول لما يرفع الاكسبيرمنت سنه صغيره بنكون احنا حاطين زي اسياخ زي حبل كده من الحديد ونبتدي ان هو يشد المكنه اللي هو كان بيشرحها من من شويه ان هي الحديد بيخش في في كل سلايد وده بنطبق بريشر عالي فبتبتدي ان هي تطلع سنه سنه بسيطه خالص تبتدي ان احنا نسحبها يمين قدام او ورا على حسب ما احنا عايزين تمام يبقى احنا كده حافظنا ان احنا بنحرك الاكسبيرمنت زي ما احنا عايزين وفي نفس الوقت باقل مجهود وباقل طاقه ممكنه تمام طيب واحنا بنحركها لازم بيكونوا دقيقين جدا 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 جدا, جداً. ليه علشان التيوب اللي جوه المفترض ان فيها بروتون من هنا وبروتون من هنا هيضربوا في بعض لازم التيوب اللي جوه دي تكون فاكيوم تكون فاضيه خالص ما تتلمس من الاكسبيرمنت نفسها والا ممكن تتكسر بسهوله تمام فبالتالي واحنا بنحرك السي ام اس لازم واحنا بنطلعها نكون حاسبين كويس جدا 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 حساباتنا بحيث ان هي لما تتحرك يمين او تتحرك شمال ما تاثرش على التيوب اللي جوه ما تكسرهوش ما يكونش في حاجه ثانيه غير الفاكيوم علشان لما يبتدي انه يحصل كوليجن يحصل كوليجن ما بين البروتون والبروتون بس لو في اي شيء ذره تراب موجوده جوه التيوب دي تمام يبقى البروتون بدل ما هو هيضرب في بعضه هيضرب في ذره التراب دي علشان كده لازم نكون محافظين على الفاكيا او التيوب دي تكون هاي فاكيوم بليس فيري فيري فراغ لا يوجد شيء فيه تمام آه في آه في حد كنت انا كنت سالت سؤال ليه احنا بنستخدم الماجنتيك فيلد جوه في طالبه اسمها هنا بيتهيالي تمام جاوبت الاجابه صح آه علشان نقدر نعمل بيندنج للباث بتاع البارتيكل مفترض ان احنا بنعمل كوليجن من البروتونز يبتدي ان هو يطلع بارتيكلز بالمنظر ده تمام البارتكلز هتطلع على طول في ستريت لاين بس انا لو مطبق عليه ماجنتيك فيلد قوي جدا هيبتدي ان هو يحصل له انحناء الانحناء ده على حسب طاقه البارتكل دي الانحناء يا اما بيزيد يا اما بيقل كل ما الانحناء زاد كل ما كانت طاقه البارتكل دي قليله كل ما الانحناء مشى في ستريت لاين يبقى هو مشى على طول بوستد معنى كده ان هو الطاقه بتاعته كبيره جدا فيبتدي ان انا بدرس او بقيس مدى الانحناء البارتكل نفسه وببتدي ان انا اعرف طاقه البارتكل اللي طالعه دي قد ايه فببتدي ان انا ايدنتيفاي البارتكل وعلى حسب المفترض لو هو موجب هينحني لاتجاه معين لو هو سالب هينحني لاتجاه معين يبقى الماجنتيك فيلد هنا خلاني ان انا اقدر اعرف التشارج بتاع البارتكل اللي طالع عندي ايه خلاني اقدر اعرف الطاقه بتاعه البارتكل اللي انا عندي ايه وبالديتكتور الثاني وبالاجزاء الثانيه من الديتكتور اقدر ان انا اعرف معلومات اكتر عن البارتكل اللي عندي واقدر ان انا اعمل اناليسز او انالايز الداتا اللي بتكون عندي ميكي اي ثانك يو جاست اي وونت تو شو يو ذا ديتيلز اون ذا الكترونيك هير هاو كلوز ذيس 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 هير از وان ديسك ويز هولدينج هير ويز انورمس ميكانيكال اي Uh, support that it holds uh, everything is in balance. This is one piece where uh, we can open. And if you look in here, all these cables, there are no millimeter wasted in space because we, we have to cover. We want to measure, we must not miss any particle created in the center in the collision. We have to capture all particles. And what you see here is uh it's it's pushed push together and if you look up here between uh the green structure the green structure of the uh, balcony and the green structure of the disc here you see 10 centimeters of clearance and these 10 centimeters were clearance when we lowered this 
1.6 thousand tons piece down here from the surface building I showed you before down here to the floor of the uh, experimental cavern. This was super, super delicate. We had a crane structure around the building, which can we rent it from the uh, uh, haver, big haver, and, and the, to, for these trailers uh, across the, the, the oceans. They deal with such uh, heavy objects. And then we lowered them very, very slowly from the surface to the ground floor. It took eight hours to start to touch down because any oscillation on the side or yeah, and if you touch uh, the walls would uh, risk that we destroy uh, the, the elements. So we walk now down here along اللي احنا شايفينه دلوقتي يا جماعه هو كان بيشرح ازاي ان احنا نزلنا السي ام اس تحت الارض الفكره ان هم طبعا لو انتوا عارفين الاستاد بيحتاج معدات كبيره جدا كرين كبيره جدا علشان يبتدي ان هو يبني الاستاد سيرن اجرت من كرين من المعدات دي علشان يجي ينزل بس السي ام اس جت مخصوص عبر المحيطات علشان تساعد في الانستولينج بتاع السي ام اس تمام علشان ننزل واحده واحده خدنا لمده 8 ساعات السلايدز الواحد علشان مش عايزين اي حركه غلط تقدر ان هي او ممكن ان هي تحصل ونزلناها سلايد سلايد جزء جزء وبعد كده ابتدينا ان احنا نزقهم على بعض ونقفل الاكسبيرمنت تمام وستيل موجود جوه كرين ثانيه بس الكرين ده علشان الحاجات يعني بالنسبه لنا احنا بالنسبه للسي ام اس اللي هي الحاجات البسيطه لو احنا حبينا ننقل جزء من هنا نوديه هنا او نطلع جزء فوق او ننزل جزء تحت بس طبعا مش عشان نطلع الاكسبيرمنت كلها تمام ستيل في كرين زي ما احنا شايفين اللي هو الاصفر اللي في السقف ده تمام ده بيبتدي ان هو يتحرك على مسافه التجربه كلها نفسها بيبتدي ان هو يشيل او او يحط اي شيء تمام Uh, there is just a few questions I, I like to, to answer it. So if Mickey, would you like to, to add something um, or give me, give, me, give me just one uh, one comment here uh, where I, where I am of course and you answer the question while I'm walking up in the third floor here because what you see here <coughs> <coughs> sorry we're now the other side of the experiment as you can see it looks absolutely uh, the same it's completely symmetric along the pin pipe and around. So it's like an onion, which is shoot, shoot it in the, from both sides with protons and in, in the center of this onion, uh, we have the collision. So it, it's very symmetric, uh, four pi in all uh, directions symmetric. And now, uh, as I said, the, the, it's more than 20 meters high and we will walk over, uh, walk up on the, on the staircase now Well, Mohamed will answer some questions of you. Follow me. Okay. So the, the first question, I will say the, the, the question in English because it's written there. So, and I will try to answer it in, uh, in Arabic. So the, the question is, what after Higgs? So why we are colliding with protons after Higgs? Okay. Okay. We discovered Higgs. Congratulations. So let's go home and uh, <laughs> forget any physics. No, it's not, it's not like that. Um, الفيزياء الفيزياء الطبيعه لسه فيها كتير قوي احنا ما اكتشفناهوش تمام احنا يا دوبك يا دوبك في اول سلمه من سلم طويل قوي من الطبيعه او من الفيزياء تمام في بارتكلز كتير جدا مفترض ان هي تكون موجوده النظريات بتقول كده الماتيماتكس بتقول كده بس احنا لسه مش لاقيينها فقدامنا طويل طريق طويل جدا عبال ما نقول اه احنا عرفنا 50% وحتى احنا ما جبناش ال 50% احنا اقل من اللي احنا عرفناه اقل من كده بكتير تمام ففي حاجات كتير قوي من الطبيعه احنا لسه ما عرفناهاش زي الدارك ماتر ايه هي الدارك ماتر زي دارك انرجي آه زي النيترينو طبيعه النيترينو عامله ازاي زي حاجه اسمها سوبر سيمتري اوكي ففي بارتكلز كتير وفي حاجات في الطبيعه كتير جدا زي بلاك هول ايه البلاك هول آه، طبيعه البارتكل نفسها ماشيه ازاي؟ ايه هو ايه البارتكلز اللي كانت موجوده في البيج بانج بعد البيج بانج على طول؟ ايه ايه اصغر بارتكلز موجوده في الكون؟ هل الالكترون موجود جوه حاجه؟ تمام؟ 
يعني الكترون احنا عندنا الكترون كده تمام لوحده طب هو في جواه حاجه تمام طب ايه اصغر من الالكترون طب السترينج سيري صح ولا غلط ففي اسئله كتير جدا 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 احنا محتاجين ان احنا نجاوب عليها تكمله للسؤال ده ايه, إيه آه كان في سؤال تاني ايه المطلوب من آه الطلبه العمانيين طبعا دكتور عمرو احسن مني ان هو يرد في في الحكايه دي لو دكتور عمرو حابب آه السؤال عمر. الاول السؤال الاول ايه اللي مطلوب من الطلبه العمانيين لو هم حابين الدراسه في الموضوع ده الطلبه العمانيين اهلا وسهلا بيهم يعني جامعه السلطان قابوس قسم الفيزياء بيرحب باي حد وبرضك مش قسم الفيزياء مش كليه علوم بقى مش مش كليه العلوم بس وكليه العلوم وكليه هندسه في زمايل زمايل من هندسه بعض الطلبه راحوا سير وفي طبعا زمايلنا من كليه العلوم راحوا سير ومن كليه التربيه كمان يعني في اخر الست سنين اللي فاتت في طلبه كتير من كليه هندسه وعلوم وكليه التربيه راحوا سير ودرسوا السمر سكول درسوا الدوره الصيفيه لمده شهرين فاهلا وسهلا بيكم يعني الكونتاكت اي حد يعمل لي كونتاكت الدكتور عمرو قسم الفيزياء و يعني في فرصه دكتور عمرو بصراحه هو اول من خلني في سيرن ودي حاجه الواحد فوق راسه بصراحه من فوق ان هو انت احلم ومالكش دعوه واشتغل على حلمك ان شاء الله باذن الله ربنا هيوفقك وهيوصلك اول مره جيت فيها هنا اهو في في في, في سيرن لما نزلت تحت الارض كنت ماشي مع جروب والترينر او الفيستر جايد كان بي بي بيتكلم وبيشرح لا يمكن كنت اتخيل ابدا ان انا في يوم من الايام ان انا هكمل حياتي هنا اهو. فحتى كنت بقول لنفسي هو انا ممكن اكون مكان الراجل ده في يوم من الايام؟ الله اعلم. فعلشان كده اشتغل على حلمك وفكر واتعب تمام؟ وامن بنفسك وان شاء الله باذن الله توصل تمام؟ وربنا سبحانه وتعالى يوقف لك كده زي دكتور عمرو كده. <تصفيق> Maybe we can take another question. Yes. Yeah, Mohamed, I, I just, let, yes, let, me, let, me, let me quickly explain what you see here from the now. We are on the, on the, top, on the top floor, so third floor, a building floor. And you see here again um, the orange absorber um, into, into the experiment and the, the orange uh, air pads. To look. And if you, if you look, look up to oh, the, the cavern, There's also an interesting uh, infra infrastructure. These are these red um, fountains, if you like, in the, in the cavern. This was the very first equipment we tested when we uh, constructed the empty cavern, because this is a fire extinguishing system. We have on, the, on top, we have, the, we have a, 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 a swimming pool, if you like, so a pool. And if there would be a fire, This come, comes down and we uh, and, uh, and sprays foam. So if everything burns, we have a big foam party uh, to distinguish, to uh, extinguish the fire. Of course, uh, this is the very, uh, to, to avoid absolute catastrophe, uh, that, but um, uh, this is a safety system we have to have in, in such industrial uh, sites. Another thing is, if you if you look up here, this is the crane uh, in in yellow, and now we walk over over this uh, the absorber on top of the LHC. So oh. we got a question, Mickey, why you are walk, yes, uh, walking about the absorber? Why do we need it? Well, actually, during the the focusing, you create uh, lots of uh, Bremsstrahlung radiation that might be Uh, um, a noise in the detectors behind. So if we can shield it away, then uh, uh, our life gets uh, easier. That's why uh, we have these shieldings. Yeah. So, so this shielding, this absorber goes on both ways because you do not want to have additional radiation coming from the, uh, the, uh, the LHC tunnel into the experiment, but also during the Um, collisions, 
you do not want to have uh, extra radiation from the collision entering in the tunnel. So this absorber somehow shield make a very small focus uh, um, aperture between she, uh, the wall between the experiment and the, uh, the LHC tunnel. And this orange is, 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 uh, is just the second layer of absorber to, uh, because in, in, underneath, this is a rotating shielding, we call it. You can open it up in two, uh, in two sides and then rotate it to the side. And in there, in the center of this rotating shielding, there's another cone of absorber, which, which holds the beam pipe entering in, 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 in the, into the experiment. So, um, and if you if you look uh, to look up, there are this, this huge uh, uh, silver pipes on the side, and then they are also they go on the very to the to uh, surface um, at the uh, through the shaft, and this is actually the uh, the air condition for downstairs, because also it's not just there. Are, uh, we, we um, Mohammed may explain you all the yeah. different temperatures uh, and heating we create, and we have to keep the the, uh, the temperature stable. Yes. Uh, if yeah, if I can just uh, uh, I will I will explain something that you said. So, uh, uh, Mohammed, but a quick. Yes. هو تبقى عندنا ما يقارب سبع دقائق لأنه أعتقد الطلبة لازم يغادروا المدارس بعد سبع دقائق. Just have seven minutes left. Because they are leaving uh, uh, okay, outside the school. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, then probably we should concentrate on the questions we got. Yes. Uh, Mickey, in the meantime, you probably can come up, I guess. Yes, exactly. Yes. We, we come up. Good. So, yeah. The question from this question is, why do I need control movement of experiment by high pressure? If you already controlled the parts of particle, I think there are two things mixed, yes. mixed up here. Yeah, yeah, one is yeah. the one is the measurement when, of course, we we measure the the, the, the particles emerging the particles. from the proton proton collisions, yes. and the other is the to pressure. to be able to open the experiment in order to make the uh, uh, the maintenance and upgrade. Exactly. So actually, these high pressure pads are used to to move the detector parts. Away and put together after the 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 maintenance. ال هو في بس في لخبطة إن هو المغنيتيك فيلد بنستخدمه إن إحنا بنأثر على البارتيكلز بس علشان نحسب الطاقة وكده. البريشر إحنا بنستخدمه علشان نحرك الإكسبيرمنت عن طريق الأورنج ليج اللي إحنا كنا من من دوس عليه. فدي بس في لخبطة في الحكاية دي غير دي. تمام. Another questions maybe. Uh, how uh, what is the very long term aim of this experiment exactly as I, as i said there are many goals still left apart from higgs higgs, uh, higgs it was just like the first step and uh, actually we have more than 200 research channels yes so, so, so it's not just the higgs we are interested in <laughs> exactly there are many many fields that's why we need a lot of manpower to, to come and to, to, to study and to start the research to help us to understand the universe and, uh, in, in a very close way. So there are a lot, a lot of researchers still uh, open, a lot of questions still open, and we need to find answers. So please help us. Uh, Actually, I think the yes. LHC and therefore the experiments will go beyond 2035. Wow. So I think the audience can actively participate in the research work here. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> I really hope so. And come and help me in my research. <laughs> yes, exactly. So that's, that's, that's quite an interesting thing. And that will not end yes. before you become active in particle physics research. Exactly. And it's like a wheel. So you are like a, one wheel in a big machine. So don't worry that uh, you, you may you may feel like no I will not work and uh, I need a lot of experience to do to do uh, this research no it will be like a, a wheel in a circle oh. and you find yourself just move and move and move and move once we give you the push. Yeah. Uh, how
how uh, do you have estimate of how much it costs to build uh, large and quadruple collider? So did you think <laughs> about that before <laughs> to build a, a one in, in your in your Usually backyard? I don't <laughs> like to talk about money because it's not so easy to calculate. It. Yes. Uh, so that is that is of course money that is uh, that is given by the the funding agencies, the the countries, but exactly. also there is there is a work which which at least the same amount. But it's very hard to make a just a smith, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. so this is extremely expensive, of course, but not as expensive as uh, as the politics and the war. Exactly. So there is another excuse, question. Excuse me. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, hi, everyone. So just to make uh, like uh, from the question the oh. section over here, maybe uh, to make clear. That CERN, that, that, that they are doing many types of research. They are getting confused between the nuclear physics and particle physics and also medical physics. So they are confused between particle and nuclear physics. Uh, could you maybe just explain in a uh, in few seconds about that? So what is the difference between the particle physics and nuclear physics and et yes. cetera? So yes. it's a, it's a big... CERN is a nuclear physics research facility. Yes. Uh, in the nuclear physics research, you 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 study the nucleus of the of the <laughs> atom. But during the research, we realize that there is there are subsequent layers below. So uh, actually, not only the nucleus is interesting, but also the particles make the nucleus, and the particles that make the particles that make the nucleus. So uh, actually, that's the way how we go. How, how, how the research goes, how the, the understanding of the word goes. Uh, that is, th these are not different chapters at all. <laughs> so I think this is because uh, from the name of the uh, of CERN, because it is yep. uh, European uh, of nuclear <laughs> research. Exactly. This is the, so the, the students confuses, they uh, think that is the same as nuclear reactors and so on. Yeah, that I is why to you answer. I, yes. I tried to answer that we are not working with nuclear reactors. We are working on the physics of yes. the flows. And when the CERN was founded in 1953, uh, the nucleus was the, the, uh, in the center of the interest. Then we realized that there are subsequent layers, but we didn't change the name of the institute. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, another questions what do you observe from the collision of photons so when you when you collide protons together protons particles take a seat electron millions jets photons taus particles كتير particles عشان كده احنا بنعتبر السي ام اس انها اكنها كاميرا كبيره قوي تمام بنقدر ان احنا ناخد صور للكوليجن تك 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 حوالي 40 مليون ايفنت او 40 مليون صوره في الثانيه الواحده 40 مليون صوره في الثانيه الواحده بس طبعا ما بنقدرش نخزن الصور دي كلها ونبتدي ان احنا نشيل جزء منها علشان محتاجه مساحه تخزين كبيره جدا علشان نقدر ان احنا نخزن فبنخزن اقل صور uh, another questions. I'm just going a bit random. Uh, how energy? Yeah, what is the precaution which you must? So, if you talk about the precautions uh, about the radiation, as I as I told you, once the experimental cavern, we have a beam inside. No one can enter inside. No one can. Just be after the door. If anyone just open the door by the hand, by force, the beam will be apart directly. Apart from that, the people who are working there, they have to take uh, a lot of precautions related to safety. The first thing, the dosimeter, okay, this device, this device. Sorry, is... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so this device is to measure the radiation dose. Uh, which you can take from experiment, okay? And you have to measure and you have to uh, put it in a certain 
machine or system device. Every month we have Every to read month. it, and if you don't yes. read it, you get the email. Exactly, yeah, I got it that before. <laughs> Sorry to say that, <laughs> but yeah, you have to read it in the device to see how much those you 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 got during this month. Apart from that, you have the helmet, okay, which protects your head, and you have your set of shoes. shoes. <laughs> okay, and these shoes should be non magnetic Yes, otherwise it will be <laughs> attracted to. <laughs> well, I had a boss. <laughs> <laughs> and certain ID. Yeah, and, and also what you don't see, also all the trainings and also all the exams that yes. we have to make. So, so definitely those people who, who can enter these places are aware of what might happen and what are the risks. And this is very important. Yeah. And you have to update it regularly. Yeah. Exactly. I just did exactly. uh, my, my expired course exactly. yesterday. Victor, Victor Mohammed, can you just get a, a short summary about what you said now in Arabic, uh, uh, please? Uh, okay. The thing we need to do is the equipment. The first thing is the equipment. The equipment is the equipment that is the equipment that the equipment is taking. And it is in the experiment. تمام ولازم تحط الجهاز ده في جهاز تاني علشان تقراه اللي بيحصل ان هو كل شهر بيطلب منك ان انت تحط الجهاز ده في الجهاز التاني ويقرا قد ايه انت خدت من الاشعاع او قد ايه خدت من الراديشن لو عند حد معين لو عديت ليميت معين بتتمنع تماما ان انت تنزل تحت الـ في الاكسبيرمنت لو وذين الليميت المسموح به بيبتدوا ان هم ايه يسمحوا لك انزل زي ما انت عايز غير ان انت عشان تنزل تحت لازم تكون لابس الخوذة تمام الخوذه دي علشان تحمي دماغك من اي شيء غير ان انت لازم تكون لابس السيفتي شوز تمام ولازم تكون السيفتي شوز دي مش ماجنتيك يعني ما تتاثرش بالماجنتيك فيلد والا هتقدر هتبقى تنجذب للاكسبيرمنت غير ان انت Oh yeah, just show them that it really hangs. Yes, so See, he didn't that's... do any any cheating. Yeah, that's the fact that he was under the gun. And this is pretty heavy. Yeah, exactly. Other the courses that we need to take in a regular way, so that we understand the الاشعاع اللي ممكن يكون محطوط او الاحتياطات اللي هي لازم ان احنا ناخدها واحنا بنشتغل تحت الارض تمام والكورسات دي لازم ان احنا نعمل لها ابديت دوريه بطريقه دوريه علشان نكون مدربين بشكل كامل ان احنا نكون موجودين تحت الارض. Thank you so much for this explanation. I think we reached the end of uh, this visit. Um, I, I don't know. I will um, uh, end with uh, some Arabic also and then I will turn to English. Uh, before, uh, because I saw that some um, uh, participants already start to leave. Uh, I think they are in hurry because they are to catch their buses. <laughs> so, يعني في النهاية أنا أتمنى أنا أشكر كل الطلبة والمعلمين والمهتمين اللي انضموا في هذه الزيارة. أتمنى أنكم استفدتوا واستمتعتوا من زيارتكم اليوم للمنظمة الأوروبية للأبحاث النووية. CERN هي فرصة كانت لإنكم تشوفوا معلومة تستمعوا إلى معلومات أكثر عن فيزياء الجسيمات وعن كيف إنه هذه التجارب اللي هي موجودة في أكبر مختبر للعالم يختص بفيزياء الجسيمات اطلعتوا على كيفية يعني إجراء التجارب في إيش هي نوع التقانات والأجهزة اللي موجودة فيه آه آه وهذا يعطيكم دافع انكم ممكن تصيروا في يعني في المستقبل ممكن انكم حتى تعملوا في مثل هذه المختبرات فتوجهكم طبعا الى المواد العلميه الى دراسه الفيزياء وبعدين التخصص في فيزياء الجسيمات هذا يعني آه رايح يكون شيء كبير لانه يوصلكم الى مثل هذه المؤسسات الكبيره على مستوى العالم. At the end I want to thanks all the staff all the experts from CMS CERN. Uh, uh, Michael, Mohammed, uh, Zoltan, Zoltan, <laughs> Naomi, Naomi, thank you so much. We are so excited about this virtual event. Um, uh, thank you for giving us this great opportunity for us and for our students here in Oman. And uh, I hope that this type of cooperation will continue for different type of programs. Thank you so much. Um, uh, and I want to say also that Michael worked with us, not just for this event. He already started with us 
some programs such as participating in Oman Science Festival in its first edition and second edition and make a great um, 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 corner this, uh, the, uh, there to explain how we can explain the, our universe in interactive way for students, for teachers, for visitors. So I want to thank him especially because uh, of this <laughs> great <laughs> efforts that he uh, um, uh, put for, for, for Oman and Omani students. Thank you so much. Uh, for the technical stuff, thank you so much for your effort. We are so happy to meet you and work with you for this very well visit. Thank you so much, Naomi Thanks. and Sultan. And uh, thank you. Hope thank you. to it's see you again. Pleasure. It's our pleasure. pleasure. See Hope you again. See you soon. See you soon. <laughs> ciao, ciao. Have a nice day. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye